No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. What's up, everybody? White person here. So I was just browsing around YouTube today, and I came across a video that made me say, "That was so terrible. I think you gave me cancer." Now, surprisingly enough, this clip comes from a uh, BuzzFeed. I know it's it's crazy. Uh, BuzzFeed is not known for putting out um, suicide-inducing content um, at all. So, so you can imagine my shock when I found out that it came from the 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 most wokest uh, news source uh, on the planet. Yeah! But let's just get right into this video and and find out what white people did wrong this time. Hey y'all, welcome to this week's episode of Is This Okay? Where we talk about things that are happening in the world, wondering if it's okay. This week our topic of discussion is whitewashing in Hollywood. Oh goody goody, let's talk about something that isn't even a problem. The other night I saw Kubo and the Two Strings and so it's this beautiful film about a Japanese family and for whatever reason I just had this itch where I was like, I gotta check and see who the voices are. I actually get a similar itch when I'm watching a movie and um, I can't remember who, who an actor is or what I recognize them from. But, but I have a feeling that um, y you got the itch because you felt like the, uh, the actors didn't sound Asian enough. They're probably pronouncing their R's and L's too well. No, 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 no. Not ra 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 la 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 la. Out of uh, the five main characters, George Takai was the only yeah, one. Yeah, was the only yeah. one who was Asian. He is not amused. Well, let's take a look at the uh, the actors uh, in Kubo and see if we can spot the problem. Hey, where are all the Asian actors? They are nowhere to be found. Seems to me that they have featured plenty of not only Asian actors, but, but Japanese actors. Um, and, and a lot of the, the, the white actors were playing non-human characters. If, if you really, really want to see a movie centered around Asian culture that is featuring only Asian actors so bad, then watch a movie that's made by an Asian country. Now, I guess it could be noted that um, Kubo, the main character, uh, he's played by a white person. But in animated movies, the race of the actor is irrelevant as long as they are portraying the character well. This would be like me being mad that Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist um, is being voiced by Romy Pak, uh, who is a a Japanese-born Korean woman. This has been happening for a very long time. Because we've seen it with Emma Stone, still remember you, Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One, and Scarlett Johansson as Ghost in the Shell. Ah yes, Scarlett Johansson playing the infamous Ghost in the Shell. If you don't even know the character's name who she's trying to portray, then how, how can you be offended over her portrayal of that character? Oh, hello, kitty. Ruining everything. And look how close Scarlett Johansson looks to the, the, the anime character. I mean, it's pretty damn close. Oh, no, 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 but, but I, I, I bet this, uh, this movie would be w way better if, if uh, the major was played by Margaret Cho. Because, you know, she's at least Asian, so it would be more authentic and, and, and closer to the real thing. Most claims of whitewashing in modern times are, are pretty retarded, but I, but I feel like Ghost in the Shell takes the cake. People are complaining that an artificial human isn't being played by a Japanese person because the source material comes from Japan. Pretty dumb. And if you want to see a version of a Ghost in the Shell that's portrayed by all Japanese people, watch the original movie. It's probably a better movie than the new one's going to be anyways. So why, why are you complaining about this new movie? There's already a version of it with 
all Japanese people. If you care what race someone is when they're playing a fictional character, you're 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 not you're not too smart, you know. Especially if what you're complaining about takes place in modern times in the future or in alternate realities where it's impossible to whitewash history because it's not history. If the movie is a period piece, then 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 the race matters a a little bit more. But if you're getting your um your perception of history from movies then then you got some you got some other problems and this goes for white people too um, you know the people who were complaining that uh, Rue from the Hunger Games was being pr uh, played by a black person or um, Johnny Storm in the new Fantastic Four or uh, Heimdall in the Thor movie it's all equally stupid I, I mean, ex except for the uh, the Heimdall one, because um, my my heritage is Scandinavian, so so I find uh, Idris Elba's portrayal of Heimdall as a black person as disgusting. Could could you please uh, stop uh, appropriating my culture? I also just think about it in terms of like being a black woman and how I could never depict a story for like as a white person. As a white person. Like that's just not yeah. my story to tell. Well, you could depict a story as a white person if you uh, just wore a white face. Nick, I have a question for you as a white person. If a studio tomorrow was like, hey, we have this really big blockbuster film, we've seen your work, we love it, but we want you to play X race. We want Man, you to play we're really Samurai. I'm sure this is a reference to The Last Samurai, uh, which Tom Cruise wasn't playing a Japanese person. He, he was uh, playing an American who was uh, accepted by a group of samurai, who then I guess, because he was friends with them, he sort of became samurai, but it wasn't like he, he was playing a Japanese samurai. Another example of a whitewashing not happening. Yeah. <laughs> so nervous. Uh, right? No judgment. Don't Thank feel you yeah, very much. no judgment. Look at how much she's judging him already. And she she's thinking to herself, Oh man, th this white boy better not say some ignorant shit right now. It's a weird thing. As an actor, you get used to not turning down roles, especially if you're uh, an aspiring actor. So if I or anybody else that I know is offered a role that they think they can do something with, then yeah, I think they should take it. Well, good for him. That's the way it, it should be, you know? Uh, if you think you can portray something, then do it. Fuck everybody else. I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, I was kind of expecting him to say that there was no way that he would ever take, take a role that could be perceived as culturally or racially offensive to somebody. I see a lot of people that fuck up make apologies that like, I really hope that this sparks more conversation about the issue and I'm, and I'm like, we've been talking about this. Like, don't, like, there are no cookies for you for like making everybody piss no. about this. Yeah. How dare you talk about something that they've been talking about for years already, you fucking piece of fucking shit. But seriously, it sounds like he's mad that somebody else is trying to raise awareness for an issue that he cares about. For you. <laughs> Whenever I see those apologies, I'm like, would that fly with like your husband or wife? Um, they'd probably be a, a little confused as to why their uh, significant other is apologizing for playing a racially insensitive character in a movie. I would be baffled. Like, I don't give a shit. But I'm not married though, so I'm not sure how how a married person would handle that. So I think we've come down to a conclusion that whitewashing <laughs> is a real thing and it's just not it's not cool. It's not okay. Yeah. It's not okay. It's not okay. I don't think the uh that white guy agrees with them. I know this white guy doesn't. They just didn't present any anything. To, to say why whitewashing is bad or or even that it exists they they just they named some fictional characters so it doesn't matter who plays them but really who who gives a shit what skin tone a person is when playing a character all that i personally care about is that the person does a good job of portraying whatever character they are playing the only time that i can think that the race of the character actually matters is 
either if it's a period piece or if the race of the character is an aspect that is important to their character. You know, like if in, if in um, the new Birth of a Nation movie, if if Nat Turner would have been portrayed as a white person, it it would have been a little a little weird. And, and I actually I probably would have been all aboard the the whitewashing train for that particular situation. But that's not what's happening here. When when we're talking about most cases of whitewashing, it's white people playing white characters. It's just that those characters were traditionally portrayed as a different race. You know, even in um, Tropic Thunder with Robert Downey Jr., he, he wasn't playing a black person. He was playing a white person who was in blackface. Um, so, so, you know, personally, I would say that uh, I don't think that whitewashing exists or that it's a problem. But um, even if it did exist, um, it, it would be fine because uh, whether you are offended or not by anything is uh, pretty inconsequential. So leave your comments below and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. I hate you! Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you all learned a little something about just how damaging it can be when fictional characters are portrayed by um, people uh, who, who look a certain way. They're talking about fictional characters. Fictional characters. Am I, am I getting through to you at all? But if you liked this video, uh, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. Or if you really liked what I had to say, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant.